teaching people about history and everything puts everybody to sleep. Nobody wants to be taught anything. I don't know why we're just all allergic to it. And when you can tell stories about the past that shed light on the present, it, it, I, I find it really exciting. And I think that the his I love movies so much that the history of movies and storytelling has been my education. And I, I feel that instead of reading a book about John Brown or something, if you can experience him, if you can meet him, if you can put your imagination in that world, it sheds a lot of light on seeing where in history we are. Onion, you've been reading the Bible. Not too much, Captain, but I've been thinking it's all you wait. We can work with that. You stand for the Lord. The Lord will stand for you. <laughs> There's a little bit of my grandfather in John Brown in my portrayal of him. There's a lot of James McBride. You know, I wasn't playing John Brown from the history book. I was playing James McBride's version of him. You know, this story is really Onion's story. It's told through the point of view of a 14 year old boy. And so it's not the way John Brown would tell his story. It's the way Onion would tell his story. And that's very, it's a comic version. So it was, I don't know, I was scared to death I love the book so much and I, I, I kind of blindly wanted to make it into a movie. And it wasn't until the weeks before we started rolling camera that I was like, wait a second, what does he talk like? What does he sound like? How does he pray? How does he speak to his children? How does, you know, how does he get in a gunfight? Why did that happen? I found it very interesting. And I just, I don't know. I, I felt like I stuck my finger in an electrical socket. <laughs>